When we were first starting on the project, again, we were a super small team. We were tasked with making Conquest Map and making it function. So that first playtest, we pulled over all the original Smite assets, and just seeing what Lumen did was actually insane. Lighting is a really uh, deceptively complicated artistic endeavor as well. Lighting can make or break your whole scene, all your characters, all your you know environment. So it's challenging. You have to put in the time, have to put in the work to make it look good. On Smite 1, we did more of uh, baked lighting, which meant when you had shadows, they were permanent. Now we have dynamic lighting, which means all of our materials actually react to light. So foliage, capes, uh, interesting elements in the environment and characters uh, look alive. Trying to understand how the, all the different Unreal assets talk to each other is a big barrier of entry. Instead of a god just having one ability and it's just one piece of code and it's relatively huge, abilities are split into a whole bunch of individual components that all have their own functions through the gameplay ability system or gas system. Learning that and figuring out how it all worked together, how it all came together, um, definitely overwhelming at first, but just gotta get the reps in. We did a little prototype of Chalk ulting and actually having lightning tendrils come off of him and spark onto the environment. So with basically no artist even coming in, just stock UE5, we had an incredible looking map, but it wasn't until seeing the lighting effect in the order base where I was like, if that's something that happened from just a simple straight port, what's gonna happen when the artists actually get their hands on this? Seeing the upgrades we got just out of the box from UE5 was, was just awesome but it was super great to see the nice surprise upgrades that the other groups were doing. Some of those, you know, on the animation side, I didn't see them until I played that, and seeing that first new ice wall that Ymir has is just pretty. For Ymir's wall and Smite 2, we can simulate destruction, and we can have that wall actually crumble into pieces, which is awesome. Bologna's hammer swing feels so much better with the new animation changes and the new audio. She's swinging around, you can really feel that impact when it's Smite 1. It, it felt impactful, but in Smite 2, it's really pushing that limit. Previously, we would need programming for all this stuff. In the new engine, we can set up all the ability logic ourselves. So projectiles, deployables, repeated effects, ticking effects, combos, chain attacks, anything that plays in sequence or series. There was a lot of um, cool things that we wanted to jump into, but it requires testing and making sure they work well with gameplay. So in that case, it was feeling out what looks good that is worth keeping. On Smite 1, all the cloth, all the hair, everything, we had to hand key those presentations. Now in UE5, beyond the ability for the cloth to just in a lot of ways look better, it also frees our production time to better focus on the gods themselves, on more skins, and then seeing where that can help continue to evolve the game. UE5 was very forgiving on allowing us to have higher poly count, which means a lot of details in architecture or foliage elements. There's a million ways to do things and finding the right one is the hard one. I think that with the tools and the power we have available to the design team right now, we're gonna be able to make some really cool content for updates across the alpha, beta, and then into the future periods. You know, all of us can look back and say, boy, I would have loved to have built that foundation this way. Uh, they've got to do it, and it shows. The effects look beautiful so far. We've been working a lot on experimenting, creating uh, new things, and adding new features to Smite 2. We are excited for our players to be able to play and experience it, all the hard work that we put in. Every day, a new boundary gets pushed somewhere, and when all that really starts to add up and you get to see all that come together, it's just an awesome feeling.